This is Twit. Can Chat GPT keep a secret? It's not surprising that <laughs> we're talking about Chat GPT. Everybody is. Um, I stumbled upon this, and I knew that our listeners would get a kick out of it. It seems that some employees of Samsung Semiconductor were using Chat GPT to help in their diagnosis and repair of some problematic proprietary Samsung code. But in order to do this, they needed to upload the code and some documents to ChatGPT so that it could see what was puzzling these employees. The only problem was the uploads contained Samsung's sensitive proprietary information. After finding three separate instances of this happening, Samsung warned its employees against using ChatGPT in their daily work. The data uploaded to ChatGPT included internal documents and code meant to, ident to identify defective chips. Samsung now limits the length of questions submitted to ChatGPT to 1K byte, while the company develops its own internal ChatGPT-like AI for its own private use. And it's really hadn't occurred to me before, but it brings to light something that, as I said, just it, I hadn't considered, which is that it will likely become quite common with, within an organization to want to be able to leverage the power of these new large language model AIs for, you know, to aid their own internal proprietary work and research. But what if the necessary details of that research cannot be allowed to leave the company's control? Um, so this is a very different application than, you know, AI-assisted travel planning or, you know, we need some we need some help coming up with some new uh, creative uh, evening meals for the family. <laughs> Uh, and this in turn suggests that before long, we're going to begin seeing AI companies offering to sell standalone pre-programmed AI systems for exclusive use within and by a single organization. And such systems will likely be compartmentalized so that the, the, the published AI side can be refined and upgraded over time while keeping any proprietary information that's incrementally informing that AI separate and safe. And, and you know, Jason, it's still difficult for me to believe that, like, we're actually talking about this. Like, <laughs> we're talking about, like, okay, soon you'll be able to purchase an AI thing like an AI cabinet and, you know, stick it in the server room of your organization and connect it into your network and all your employees will be able to chat with this AI thing that you purchased. But I think what's interesting to me is that I feel like for a while, quite a while in technology, in technology circles, chat bots in general have been kind of like a punchline because they've oh. never worked nearly as it, well as promised. And now suddenly the they're right like corner. The <laughs> right. It, it comes up in the lower right corner of your screen. It's yes. like, you know, hey, oh, hi there. Yes. You know, I see that you're uh, alive. Would you like, what would you, would you like some help? It's like, go, no. away. how do I click? How do I get rid of this thing? Your, your help is, is brutal and, and not, not enjoyable or useful <laughs> whatsoever. And now suddenly it's the solution to all of our problems. <laughs> suddenly it's good enough or, or pretends to be good enough. It uh, is just amazing yeah. how quickly this thing has, this has changed around. I think you're absolutely right though. And they've got to already be working on this, right? Because that again, in all of these different facets a, the the promise or the potential um that you know 
proponents of AI are putting out there as far as the benefits to, you know, companies and in, in thinking about their, their businesses in different ways and everything, all of that hinges, like you point out, on, you know, in, in particular, the, there's pieces of information that that hinges on the need for private secure systems to hold on to that information so that Samsung's employees aren't putting out proprietary information in order to gain the benefits of the AI systems. Right. And I'd be right. really surprised if these companies aren't already working on, we've got an AI to br bring all these benefits to your company. It's within your walls, you know, and, and you can rest assured that the information you put in there never goes anywhere outside of your company. They're, they're working on that right now. They have to. There's so much money to be made from that. It's that, it's that little cube in the corner with yeah. that weird <laughs> blue glow <laughs> feed me who's your data. in there feed me What's your data there? developer yeah, that's right <laughs> this episode of tech break is brought to you by aci learning the most tech savvy people in the world serve in the military and deciding how to transition to civilian life can be difficult before 2030 the bureau of labor statistics reported it will add over 667,000 positions Choose a career to support your goals with ACI Learning. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit today.